what's the age old adage about real estate? Location, location, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you got to do is look at the neighbors, look around. First of all, it's spring. Oh my gosh. Everything's blooming. The smell of fresh cut grass. People are barbecuing again. It's just fantastic. The birds are even happy. Anyway, if you live in Kentucky, then you understand about walkout basements. And I'm going to walk over here and show you. If you don't live in Kentucky, I want to tell you about walkout basements. It's a fantastic thing. I always tell my friends, raise your hand, right hand and repeat after me. I will never buy a house or build a house without a walkout basement. We've got just enough of a slope on lots and lots of our lots around here. And you just... If you go down that way, you just dig out a little bit here, throw that dirt on the back. Now you got a little bigger backyard and uh, like my first girlfriend. And then you have a, a, a huge basement here. This basement is the same size as the house again, and it's really inexpensive square footage and you're going to love it. It's got a flagpole here. I didn't put a flag up because I got to get up there with the, uh, with the rope. And if you've ever seen my physique, you know that I'm not going to be climbing a flagpole. Heck, I can hardly do a push-up. Anyway, metal roof. That's fantastic. Vinyl siding. Completely no maintenance. No maintenance windows. In fact, there's one in the back that we're replacing. It got broke. Probably a weed eater or a lawnmower or something like that. And uh, Josh has not replaced that yet. I'll show it to you, but it's going to be a brand new uh, window there. Big porch. LED lights. Any lights that we replaced, which is like most of them, are all LED now. You got a brand new door, fiberglass door, no maintenance, and a big, beautiful... Hey, stick around for the aerials. You're going to want to see those. I'll show you all around what's going, what's going on all around the neighborhood. Tiles to take your muddy boots off with, and then all real oak floors. I asked my guy, I said, is it photo ready? Is it show ready? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. Well, he did a great job in the house. I really can't holler at him or complain too much, but, um, but the scaffolding is there. There's another set downstairs. So anyway, no, it doesn't come with it. It's the handiest thing to have ever. Anyway, you've got a, what we call a dog house. It's a dormer up there. And if you've got some really cool artwork you wanna put up there, that's a pretty cool spot. And that light dims. Up there, let me see here. Yeah, so it dims, you can, or you can shut it off. Pretty cool. Three bedrooms, two baths. I'll put all the spec uh, specifics. That's all right. <laughs> it's late, uh, and it really is this time. Sometimes I just use that for an excuse because I'm silly, but it's four, <laughs> it's almost four o'clock. Uh, I'll put it in specifics, uh, how many square feet and things like that. How big the lot is, I just don't know. The kitchen and the dining room is all tile floored. And then it's got these, uh, and it's got these picture frame boxes in here, which are kind of neat. Just a nice little uh, added uh, architectural, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just talking. And then it's got a tray season, octagonal, octagonal, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, octagonal. Uh, tray ceiling. It just rolls beautiful back there. It's not too steep, but I mean, the next road to even to get to that would be like, uh, I don't know, a mile away or something like that. So you're going to be, you're going to have all that privacy in the back for a very long time. All right. One of my favorite things in the house, I don't mind telling you, I always like to tell you what my favorite thing is is uh, this sink and faucet. It's pretty slick. And then you can kind of do this if you're a cook. You're going to love that. And what I love is the sharp corners. So you ever see those stainless steel sinks with the really slopey corners? You can't even stand a wine glass in there. The poorer the quality of the stainless, the less you can bend it. So this one is sharp corners. So I assume this is a super high quality uh, but th definitely the ones that are like $28 at Lowe's, those are not quality. That I can assure you. Pretty nice. Now, Josh just got done staining the deck, so I can run out here. This is a brand new Pella uh, screen door. Not a screen door, but what they call a storm door, right? 
and it, it closes good and tight. And this deck is just beautiful. So you can be grilling, you can be grilling downstairs, chilling up here, whatever you want. This is an ash tree. Uh, the green ash borer came through uh, Appalachia and took out all the ash. So that tree is dead. It's been dead. It needs to come down. Yes, I know. Talk to Ken. Maybe he can help you negotiate whatever. But that tree, we know that has to come down uh, because it's not going to do anything better than what it is. And if you put your kid on the swing on a dead tree, you need to be reported to the SPCA. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, uh, pressure wash all this it's just mildew that's all you know what do they call it moss it's on the north side anyway there you go there's the backyard big backyard that's what i'm talking about baby and the neighbors are all nice it's got all everybody takes good care of their place there you go enough of the back oh and uh cindy specked out that light, which I think is pretty swanky. Let me see. I would say bougie, but uh, Ken doesn't like it when I say bougie. It's beautiful. You can call it what you want. Buy this house and you can call it whatever you want. All right. Go in here. The garage. And Josh did not paint the steps. He will, I promise, I promise. This is freshly painted. It smells great because we used... I'm afraid to walk on it. We used an oil-based paint. So it's oil here. He went up the walls and uh, everything is, it's beautiful. Nice, nice and clean. And we're gonna have the stairs painted for you, I promise. God, what a beautiful day. I can't wait to get home and cook on my grill. I do a lot of charcoal grilling. How about you? You like charcoal or gas? And tell me why. Put it in the comments. You know, you can get great results from gas and it's you'll never get that flavor from charcoal. Love it. Now I'm not talking about the blue bag. I'm talking about the red bag. That's, uh, that's a really nice charcoal. It's clean and beautiful. You can tell I'm getting hungry. We spec'd out this new uh, vanity, which was like a lot of money, but it's beautiful. And I think you'd be happy with it. And you can look here and you can do your makeup. That wasn't weird. And you got a rain head here, which is nice. You just turn it on. There you go. And that, that will take care of all of your bathing needs. We've got a rain head in our house and we love it because it covers you and I don't want to say envelops you. It sounds like marketing, right? But really it covers you for like from shoulder to shoulder. So it's good. Every bedroom's got a closet. We got to put a dealio up there. Smoke detector. Another tray ceiling. This is the master boudoir. Big, uh, big, big closet. Really deep. How deep is your closet? Sounds a little weird. And here you can look outside, see what's going on, see the kids playing, or see your puppy in the backyard, or whatever you'd like to do. Another new vanity. Beautiful. This has got a. Uh, Got soft closed drawers and it's got all dividers. It even has one of those. That's kind of nice. Even those are soft closed. I think that's pretty cool. Beautiful faucet. And then it's got this push. It's push the center and that closes it off. What do they call it? A pop, pop top or whatever pop drain. I thought that was going to be a disaster. We've got them. We've had them four years now. They're perfect. Oh, and by the way, it's a Delta faucet. So, you know, nothing's ever going to go wrong with that. And if it does, it's uh, it's got a warranty. You just call them up and they will send you a new cartridge or whatever, whatever ails you, guaranteed for life. Another rain head. 
you know, everyone's got their preferences. I've just had really, really good luck with Delta. It's like no fuss, no muss. Uh, when it comes to toilets, I like Polar. Yeah, that's just whatever you like, but you're not gonna go wrong with Delta. Josh, look at that, come on now. <laughs> Is it photo ready? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, great bedroom down here. This is the fourth bedroom. Uh, and then this is the window. This window is being replaced. It just, it clouded and it got a, it got a, a hole in it. There's cracked somewhere. I, don't know, I can't remember where the crack is, but it's cracked somewhere. And um, it just needs to be replaced, which we are doing. You got a brand new patio door here. So you flip the switch, give it a pull, and there you are. Some nice lights out here too. That'll be taken care of by the time you see it, I promise. Got this little barbecue shack here. It can give you, uh, give you, sh sh you know, privacy if you want. You could uh, hang out here, cook, do whatever you want to do. Maybe a hot tub, that'd be cool. We've had a hot tub for, oh, at least 20 years. And I will tell you, it is good for the mind, body, and soul. This is all tile here. These are these big tiles, maybe like 16 or 18 inch or whatever. They're pretty big. They're not, they're not, um, they're not 24. They're, 16 or 18 and then it's all this space here so this is what i'm talking about as far as a um uh, walkout basement goes why would you not do this why would you not do it it doesn't cost that much look <clears throat> you're gonna have to put uh you're gonna have to put the the footer at least two or three feet down right and then so you're gonna have to have a at least what three foot and then another two feet you're gonna have five feet of of uh footer wall so why don't you just go to eight or 10? This is like 10. Why don't you just go a, a few more feet and you got a whole nother floor down here. Anyway, this is really good usable square footage and it's really reasonable. Why would you not build or buy with uh, a, a you know, walkout basement? There's some extra paint left over. A little storage under there. I have no idea what's in there. Oh, there you go. That's the furnace. Washer and dryer goes right there. This is the water heater, I know that. There we go. And it's got a sump pump, which I assume works, but it's dry down here. You can't, you can, you can smell it. If there's a problem, you can smell it and there's nothing to smell down here. I'm going to start shutting the lights off. If this property is right for you, we'll get you cranking. If it's sold, don't worry about it. We're, we're going to have others just call and say, hey, I really like that. Everything you said makes sense. Everything you said makes sense. If you ever say that to me, I'm going to frame it. And my wife is going to have to look at it. I'm going to put it on her vanity mirror. But we'll have others. The price in this house is going to be around 200 So... If we take the square footage and and divide it, what, what do you have? I don't know. I'll put it here. I don't know, $70 a square foot, something like that. You couldn't build this house for that. And it's a great spot. I'll put where it is here, like, you know, so many miles from Lake Cumberland, which isn't too far going down this way if you like to boat and fish, and uh, not too far from Danville. And there's a Dollar General literally just a couple miles up the road, maybe a mile or two and it's the bigger dollar general they have the, the you know the new bigger ones now they just built it two car garage if this house is right for you fantastic call ken the phone number is right there if it's not right for you then call the or go to the home finder which is right here bluegrassteam.com slash home finder you get on there you tell us about five things how many bedrooms do you need how much land do you need do you need a barn what's your price range and it's pretty general and then there's a box and it says, tell us what your ideal property looks like. And then you can start saying, oh, I got to have a walkout basement. I got to have a mother-in-law suite. I got to have a barn for horses. I got to have a pond. I got to have whatever. And you just tell us all that stuff and we'll start looking for properties that fit your criteria. You're going to love that. The home finder is the bee's knees.
All right, I'm gonna make like a banana and split. but it, it's basically we specced out this new uh, 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 the kitchen tile and dining the kitchen and all right one more time i can't wait to see your comments below like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see don't forget to go to our website bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.